All right, so welcome back to TCG Love. After two, three weeks, right after my last video, um, I decided to show my face today because I want to try out the lights. And of course, because I missed you guys. So we are back with the next set, Outlaws of Thunder Junction. I have been actually looking forward to the set since it got announced, I think last year, right? Um, I was really hyped for the set. So it's finally time, Outlaws of Thunder Junction. And of course, with every new set, I'm buying a bunch of products. Um, like usual, not as many as usually um, because I can't really sell cards, I can't keep up selling all these cards that I buy usually. But we still got six play booster boxes, six bundles, four collector booster boxes, each precon once this time, only once unfortunately. I got four pre-release packs here, which I'm gonna make some videos, and I went to my pre-release event today, earlier. Uh, I won a game, so I got some prizes. I will be scanning all of these cards as well here. But yeah, I paid around 2,050 euros for all of this here, which is um, around 2,200 dollars. I calculated out, and uh, we will be opening this play booster box today. So um, I paid 130 euros for this one. Mm, I guess 135 dollars translated it. So will we get 135 dollars from this play booster box? Uh, we will see in a second, but you're probably also asking yourself what's gonna be the next giveaway and for anybody who doesn't know I'm doing um, a giveaway uh, once every while, probably after each main set I did a giveaway at least once. So what's up for the next giveaway after I open all of this, which is probably gonna be in a, in a week and a half or something, I will be giving away a Fallout Collector Booster Box as I promised you and my sponsor got back to me, they're gonna send me another Collector Booster Box for Outlaws and a play booster box. So for the next giveaway, I'm gonna have these three products that I'm gonna give away to you guys. And if you're watching this video, you might be able to win. I'll be explaining how the giveaway works while I open the card. So yeah, let's start cracking, not waste any time with this play booster box. Let's go. All right, Outlaws of Thunder Junction play boosters. I will be scanning each rare and mythic and see if we can pull uh, cards worth $135 from this play booster box, which is how much I paid for it. And if we do, it means we paid for the box and I keep all the nice bulk in here. So there's a bunch of different uh, set symbols in here. Actually, four different set symbols that can be in this uh, in play boosters, which is quite weird. Um, but yeah, I will be uh, explaining a little bit as I go for anybody who doesn't who is maybe new to magic or to the set and doesn't really understand. So in a play booster, we will have six comments. So let's see if this, these first six are the comments here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven comments. All right, so this is already weird. We got six comments. It should be six comments. <laughs> now I have a seventh here. I should have three uncomments. One, two, and three uncomments. We have four uncomments here. Am I even looking at the card play boosters? Okay, there can, be, there can be a card of any rarity, including boost of fun cards. So I guess this is the wild card, which is just a normal uncommon here again. Uh, one rare or mythic card. So we got one last job here, our first rare, which I will be scanning with my scanner. Uh, the scanner is called Mana Box for anybody who's interested. And that one tells me how much a card is worth, 11 cents. And I got Void Slime here, which has a different... Um, Set symbol here, these are the breaking news cards and these are all instants or sorceries, I think, right? No, these are all cards that commit crimes and commit crimes is a, um, a mechanic in the set. But yeah, this is one of the bonus sheets here. All reprints, Void Slime is our second rare here. I'll be scanning that as well. Scanner should pick it up as the correct version, 11 cents as well. And then there should be a traditional foil card of any rarity. So we got a common foil here. Sure, and there's gonna be a land card and 50% of the time it's gonna be uh, dual lands, so it's this one and a token in the end. So yeah, I don't know what this <laughs> seventh common here is. I don't understand, one, two, three, four, five, oh, six, I didn't count correctly. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. All right, so everything cool. So everything as it should be. We got three comments here. I'll be putting all of this in a bulk pile and I will be putting the shit rares here. And let's crack the second pack. And let's keep going like this and hopefully we're gonna pull some um, better rares. I actually have a good feeling about the set. I think there's quite a few valuable cards and while I was playing the pre-release I also pulled some nice cards. 
Stoic Sphinx, so our next rare here. Let's scan this one. 11 cents. And uh, we got a borderless breaking news card. Oh, this is always gonna be a breaking news card in the in the packs. This time we didn't get a rare, we got decisive denial. Sorry for the focus. Putting it in the bulk file, uh, bulk pile, and nothing else. All right. If we hit a card that is a dollar, I can explain you about the giveaway. Let's go for these ones first. Oh, Story Spotlight card, uh, Mystical Theater. These cards always, you can see here, Story Spotlight, show a, um, a scene from the story. Here's where Kellen tries to save the train while his father, Oko, uh, abandons him for the first time, I think, right? Abandoned him there. All right, he abandoned him a few times afterwards as <laughs> well. So, Rush of Dread, which is also depicting a scene of the story. It's not a story spotlight card. Uh, all the zombies that got summoned by Gisa, I think. This should be here. Gisa, is that her name? Rush of Dread. This is rare. Let's see if it's worth something. A dollar and seven cents. And you can see, once we have cards above a dollar, the scanner shows a dollar on top for the total. Siphon Insight is the next rare. Ten cents for this one, and we got the Lone Shark, which is a pretty cool card in um, in limited. Uh, I read, I didn't actually play it. Well, I don't need to scan it, but yeah. So you can see the scanner picked up the one euro card. Every card, uh, the one dollar card. Every card that is above a dollar counts to the total, and um, the more value we pull here, based on the total, the more coins you can claim from this video. Oh, this is a good card. Slick shot, show off, or air. That must be above a dollar. Nine dollars, damn. So 10 bucks, we got 10 bucks. So that's the first coin that you can claim here. Molten duplication, a mythic from another set symbol here. This is the vault. How is it called? Let me quickly check the article here. Man, it's so complicated with this set. This set was quite overwhelming when I played it as well. Big expansion symbol, so the big score. This used to be an epilogue set for um, this set. They used to be an epilogue set. They just decided to put the epilogue set into the main set because the last epilogue set was horribly um, horribly taken by the community, I guess. So they just decided to put the epilogue set in here. So that's why we have another bonus sheet here. Um, the big score, which is also new cards, not reprints. And this one is $6.39. So now it's getting better here. We got a beautiful story spotlight gateway glamour. I actually don't know what scene from the story this one depicts. I guess this is a cool the dragon enemy and some kind of bubble. Either way, I did try to uh, pick up on the story this time. Um, I read quite uh, well. I read almost every um, every chapter except for the very last epilogue chapter. Can't say I kept everything <laughs> kept everything remembering. Uh, in my mind, but either way. Girit, Mirror of the Wilds, another mythic over here. Let's see if this is worth something. Two bucks, 56, so that's pretty nice. We got Heartless Pillager from the Breaking News sheet. I'm not gonna scan any common or uncommon. If there's any common that is valuable, let me know in the comments. I'll be skipping them for now. Scan them in the next video if there's anything worth scanning. Uh, but yeah, let me tell you about the giveaway. So based on the value that we pull today, the key of the vault, you can claim coins and the more coins you claim, the more, the higher the chance of winning in the giveaway will be. Oh, another big score card. $5.63 for Avon Interrupter. Nice. Uh, Alltech Meta Weaver. I think I pull, I got, oh, this is the, this is the promo card from the pre-release event. Alltech Meta Weaver. And this is the normal version, you get the promo version if you participate in the pre-release event. So this is actually Mythic. That's the set symbol here. That's actually also Mythic. All right, let's scan if this is worth anything. Three bucks, not bad, not bad. And we got a dual land here. Can see it called End of the Battlefield Tap unless you control two or fewer lands. Sure, just a normal dual land, a rare one. In foil, a dollar fifteen for that one. So that's pretty good. And we got one of these beautiful full art planes and i have to say i love these full art lands and yeah these are perfect i'm gonna say something very controversial these are the best full art lands yet uh, on magic the gathering 
even better than um, Neon Dynasty Kamigawa. I can explain why. You can <laughs> you can stop uh, commenting hate <laughs> hate commenting under my video now. I can explain why. I love these full art lands so much. Uh, in a bit, Fortune Loyal Steed is the only rare here. But let me actually finish explaining the giveaway. So the more coins the, in the in the video is collected, uh, the more coins you can claim from the video by leaving a comment. You claim the coins by leaving a comment. I don't I don't know if I mentioned that. But yeah, leave a comment to claim the coins, and you can claim coins from every video. And they're gonna stay on your wallet no matter what even if you don't win in the giveaway you're gonna keep the comments uh, coins for the next giveaway in the next giveaway roxanne starfall seventh 14 cents got really lucky there for a few packs and now we get shit again hell to pay really cool artwork uh rare and foil i think also a solid card yeah worth nothing though and nothing else. Nice copy token here. Whoa, that's trippy. That's pretty cool. Cool token there. Uh, so yeah, claim as many coins as you can until the giveaway starts uh, by commenting under every video video that I'm gonna upload in the coming days. I'll try to upload a video every day for this set and uh, just to have the giveaway arrive as early as possible. Obeka Splitter of Seconds. Also a character from one of the side stories. $1.38 for this one, not bad. Hindsight light and nothing else, only one rare. I'll be counting every rare mythic. And yeah, then the more coins you have by the end, the higher the chance of winning the giveaway. You can check my last giveaway if you want to know how it works. And I want to say big thank you to Games Island for sending me free swag that I am able to give away to you guys because for anybody who doesn't know, whatever my sponsor Games Island is sending me, I'm giving away to you for free in these giveaways. Cool land here, not full art, but cool basic land. Um, so yeah, they sent me an extra Fallout collector booster box for free. Uh, they will send me a collector booster box for Outlaws and a play booster box for Outlaws. And because I get all of that for free, you, gonna, uh, you guys gonna get it for free. I'm not gonna keep anything to myself. So I'm not profiting any <laughs> at all from the sponsorship unless you count more subs. So yeah, I'd really appreciate you guys if you would like if you would support me if you can support me with that sponsorship. Click the link in the description. There's an affiliate link to Games Island. Check it out. That's the site where I buy all my Magic: The Gathering products from. It's really cheap, the cheapest site that I found. So I'm really happy that they sponsored me. Oh, two sixty five for Blooming March. Uh, Hell to pay again. So that's nice. Oh no, that was worth nothing. It's true. Vault Born Tyrant though, another big score card. They seem to be not as rare as I initially thought nine dollars eighty so i'm glad they're not as rare endless detour uh, breaking news rare cool art cool art worth nothing though unfortunately and oh a swamp beautiful beautiful man look at this this is perfect this is perfect i love this uh, i'm gonna explain why so yeah uh, please check the link in the description to games island um just clicking the link is cool if you decide to buy some magic products consider buying it there oh this card is horrible i played against this and it absolutely destroyed me in the pre-release event this gets out of hand so quickly it's disgusting but yeah pretty good card let's see if it's worth something 11 cents nope uh archive trap another rare breaking news card pretty cool Two bucks, 61, so we're already at $45, not bad. Uh, yeah, please check out Game Style, and thank you very much Game Style for sponsoring me, sending me free swag. I'm really hyped for the next giveaway, it's gonna be my biggest giveaway yet, so that's gonna be really cool. Uh, check the link in the description, my affiliate link, to support me, the channel, and uh, bigger giveaways in the future. Tiny Boynts joins up. 32 cents. Archmage, Newt. 85 cent and no other rares so we it feels like we're getting more rares than with murders at call of manor so i'm i'm happy with that it feels like and i don't know i will count the rares and fix in the end zatoro the infiltrator oh a mythic breaking news card five dollars 86 
Indomitable Creativity. Let's see if that's worth five bucks. Really cool, really cool. I wonder if the card's gonna drop in price soonish. For now, it looks pretty good. Like usual, in the beginning of a set, the prices look pretty good. Then they drop a little bit. Some more, some less. Colossal Rattle Worm. A dollar. Oh, that's nice. A dollar for the Rattle Worm. Oh, we got a big score token. You can see here. All right. Let's do it a little bit faster. So the video is not too long. I'll be skipping comments and uncomments. Man, I'm skipping so much cool art. Story spotlights, etc. Kellen joins up. Kellen joining the crew is a rare. 13 cents. And but nothing else. Should have gone a little bit slower in the first few packs, I guess. Maybe we can go now. So we got this one again. Daring Thunder Thief. Ambush Giga Pete. Giant Beaver, which is also pretty good. Uh, card for limited. Reckless Lakai. Overzealous Muscle, also card against that I lost against quite a bit. Gold Pen. Over Marauder. This town ain't big enough. Sure. All the memes. Aloya Alchemist, I like this card. I played this one. High Noon. That's also a cool card and pretty cool artwork as well. I like this. Oh, it's a rare, so we can scan it. All right, let's go. 79 cents, which means I can keep it for my collection. All right, if we pull the next full art land, I'm gonna ramble a little bit about those. When I went to my very first pre-release, I wanted to bring my own lands. So I was thinking, okay, which lands do I bring to my pre-release event? Uh, they're gonna be awesome looking, of course. They're gonna be the definitive Magic Gathering lands. Uh, hostile Investigator, another mythic from the big score. Dollar eighty. That one is not worth much. Skewer the critics, pretty good card. Prairie dog, <laughs> awesome artwork. Really cute how he eats the cactus. I don't know if the focus is weird or if the lighting is weird. I think my phone display might be a little bit too dark. I hope the video is gonna be not too dark. Either way, uh, I want to bring my own lens, and I was thinking which are the best lens that I can get. They need to be the definitive versions of Magic the Gathering. So if you see that land, you know, all right, this is the ultimate Magic the Gathering land. So they need to be full art, of course, because that's the best looking ones, the prettiest ones. They couldn't be too specific. They needed to be a little bit general. So it's not like from March of the Machine where you have all the all the portals to Phyrexia, etc. in the lands. We got another dual land here. Which is two bucks. So these dual lands are the rare dual lands are worth a little bit. Forest, look at this. Look at this. This is the best. You can see the forest symbol here as like a negative cutout. Like the tree, the forest tree. You see it, right? And it's a land. That's beautiful. So why are these perfect? Um, because they uh I'll let, let me cut real quick. Let, <laughs> indulge me. I'll do a little edit, I'll get some other uh, basic lands and explain a little bit. Second. All right, so I got some basic lands from across the sets that I have to explain you why these are the best ones. So we got the Kamigawa lands, of course, which are awesome, beautiful. I thought they're the best ones till now. Um, for example, these lands, they're cool, but they're black and white, you know, not perfect. They need to be simple. And you can that you can tell immediately which land you have on your board. That's what I wanted. And for those, uh, these are the best, right? You see it. It's it's on your board. You know exactly. This is a uh, island. This is a plains. But what I don't like about these, these are basically energy cards from Pokemon. <laughs> like that's Pokemon energy cards. It's not a land, right? It's not an environment. It's just a symbol. The same with this Dominaria um, United cards. They look awesome. They look beautiful. You immediately know it's a play when, it on, when it's on the board. They are simple, but it's just basically energy symbols. It's not it's not lands. Um, Kamigawa was cool. Where is it? There it is. Kamigawa was cool because they had a nice uh, symbol here and they had some environ environment, but it was very anime, which I don't mind. I, I think this is beautiful as well, but yeah. Um, it's not the definitive version of Magic the Gathering, I would say. 
it's a special style, it's a special treatment, specific, not too general. So that's why I think these are awesome because they have the symbol in the in the artwork. If I can find all the other ones, they all have the symbol in the artwork, but they are still environments. And of course, they are a little bit Western, Wild West themed, but not too much. I'm actually relieved that I didn't go all out Western with this. Uh, we have some cactuses, of course, for the forest, which is, it's not perfect. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but they're the best yet. This swamp though is pretty much perfect. It has the swamp symbol and it's a swamp. So it's the best. I love this. I love these lands. I'm not going to sell any of those. I'll keep 20 copies each <laughs> if I can manage to for, um, yeah, for my pre-release events. Awesome lands. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Thanks for indulging me a little bit of a detour. Let's go cracking. Keep cracking. Some more packs here. Oh, we got another mythic. Bristle Bill Spine Soul. And I, I really like these cactus creatures. Look at this. This is awesome. Man, this head is pretty cool. I like it. $7.88. It's another meme set, of course, but I don't mind. I don't mind because we will be getting Bloom Borrow soon and I hope that one's not going to be too meme -y. I hope it's exactly what I wish it to be. This artwork, look at this. These cactus creatures are cool. I also have some critters that are pretty cute. Yeah. Why does this guy have these, I don't know how, how they're called, these, these things on his hooves. <laughs> when I first saw this artwork, I was asking myself, why? <laughs> what is this? Like, you use, the cowboys use these to, you know, push the horse a little bit um, to move, right? But if he's the horse, why should he, does he injure himself? <coughs> I don't know if I talk shit now. Collective Defiance. Breaking news, rare, 11 cents. And yeah, that's it. Man, I'm having fun. Sorry if I'm rambling some random stuff. I'm really excited to make a video again, open some packs again after three weeks of nothing. All right, Duelist of the Mind. And I, I have this card, it's pretty cool. It's pretty strong card and limited. I like it. And this um, artwork, the face is, I, I think I hear some guy that won the World Pro Tour and he was able to make his own card. So this is his card and this is his face. So he got, he won the world tour, right? Pro tour, world tour, I'm not sure how it's called. Five bucks for this one, that's pretty good. Sandstorm Salvager, also pretty strong card. I had this in my pre-release event as well, in pre-release deck. So yeah, he uh, he got, you know, immortalized on a magic card. So that's pretty awesome. Command Deer, breaking news card. Dollar 92, it's going pretty well here. We are almost at 85 bucks, still a few packs to go. All right, let's go. Holy cow, we got the holy cow here. The Mimi card, you probably hear of it as well. All right, Raktos joins up. And I read the story, Raktos wasn't really a big part of the story. He was just, you know, on Ravnica, he's the boss of one of the biggest guilds, one of the 10 guilds. In this story, he was just kind of some muscle guy for the gang. Was Raptus worth something? Above a dollar or not? I'm not sure. Let's put it here for now. So he didn't really get to shine in the story this time. So we got Lila, undefeated Slickshot. I don't remember this, car, uh, this name from the story, 24 cents. And nothing else. We got the island for the man. Look at this. This is the, just the best. You know, you cannot really tell it is Western themed, I guess, unless you look at these rock formations, maybe a little bit. But yeah, this is the best island ever. Yet, it's not perfect. I want, I want more like these. Not a holy cow here. We got Calamity Galloping Inferno. Let's see if this works something. Another mythic big scorecard. Man, we pull in a lot of these. Grand Abolisher. Let's go. $4.26. Nice. And every one of them is worth something. So that's pretty cool. Can we pull an Oko? Can we pull a Jace? That would be cool. 
So we got two planeswalker, planeswalkers in this set. Usually after March of the Machine, they only want to do one. We got two this time because they fused uh, the epilogue set into this set. 266. And I can, I say, can I say something about epilogue set? I wouldn't mind them doing another epilogue set. I know the first one was really um, hated, but I think it's because it was a little bit too expensive for what you get. And because the story was just not there, like there was no story, but I don't generally have anything against the concept of an epilogue set. I think it actually would be pretty cool to have a bonus set after a main set. Needs to be a little bit cheaper if you want to um, sell five card packs. It needs to be a little bit cheaper. But yeah, like uh, I'm a little bit disappointed that they just gave up after the first time and didn't even try to make it work a second time. Outcast a Trailblazer. I don't know. Maybe you guys say, no, it's good. Fuck the epilogue set. I personally wouldn't mind. Collective Defiance and Foil. That's cool. Breaking news foil card from a play booster. So this is probably from the foil slot, 19 cents for the foil version, because the normal breaking news slot cannot be foil. All right, what do we get? This time we got Vadmir, New Blood. Black rares are always worth something, not the standard. <laughs> and nothing else, another mystical tether. All right, how many packs do we have left? Six. Let me get them out of here. All right, we got six packs left. Can we pull something good here? We are still quite actually, we're not good on the money. I'm still remembering pre-play booster prices, 100 bucks. Obeka split off seconds, but we still have 35 bucks to go. 40, uh, 45 bucks, so that's quite a lot. Not sure if we can make it with five play boosters. Uh, Kalen joins up, all right, and Archmage Charm, and the, whoa, this foiling looks quite, uh, you cannot get raised foil from play boosters, right? 13 cents for this one, Archmage Charm, <coughs> 52 cents, and we got a mythic leyline binding. Is this mythic? It is mythic. In foil. Leyline binding in foil with the breaking news. Um, breaking news showcase. The collector number is uh, 04. So I'll be checking if this is the normal foil. In foil. Number four. Yes. All right. So this is not textured foil. Textured foil would look like, uh, like that on the right here. This is the normal foil. $13.85 for leyline binding in the foil. But the foiling looks quite different than the other foiling that I had. It looks almost like a uh, raised foil, but I guess just the quality variations in the foiling. These cards are all printed in Belgium. For anybody who's interested, also pretty nice card here. Gun Tarantula. Oh, Terror of the Peaks, there we go. This card was my nightmare. This this card annihilated me in the game uh, in the previous event. This is so strong, it's absolutely insane, and it's also worth quite a bit. So let's scan it. 15 bucks for Terror of the Peaks. Spells your opponent's cards that target Terror, whatever. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peaks deals damage to the creature's power to any target. This, this mechanic here killed all my creatures without him even attacking. This is horrible. Either way, Abrupt Decay in the Breaking News Showcase, 74 cents. And we got a Mountain. So now we have all five basic lands and look at this. Also perfect, beautiful, love it. Every single Fallout land is awesome. The forest is the best. Because it's like, uh, the symbol is like in the negative, but it's a little bit different than the other ones. Either way, all of them are awesome. We got the Coyote, if we get the Roadrunner somewhere, can put them together maybe. Fibblefib, Lost on the Ranch. I don't remember Fibblefib from the story at all, so what is he doing even here? Either way, 
32 cents. And we got Mana Drain. Holy crap, now we're getting the real stuff here. Mana Drain. Uh, so now we did it, I guess. We did it. 31.42 for a beautiful breaking news Mana Drain. Damn, this is awesome. We did it, guys. We hit $153. Holy crap. And we still have two packs left. Let's go. This set is, does, didn't disappoint. We got Nashi here, right? Nezumi, Link Breaker. Nashi was also part of... Uh... Oh, there we go. We got the Roadrunner. Let me see if I can find Coyote. Yeah, some memes. We got some memes in the set as well. Roadrunner and Coyote. Cunning Coyote, Resilient Roadrunner. The Roadrunner has hate protection from Coyotes. And I think this is the only Coyote in the whole set. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. All right. Let's see what we got here else. Breaches, the Blast Maker. All right, we got Breaches here. Also part of Oko's crew. 10 cents. And we got Transmutation Font. I don't know how much this one is worth, but it's a Mythic from the big score. So at least a few bucks, I guess. $4.26, there we go. That fling, and we got only Tumblewag, and this is also a very strong card. This goes out of hand really quickly, at least in limited. I lost to this one as well. A lot of cards that I lost to. <laughs> only one card that I won for. Alright, I'll be going through my pre-release deck in a second after I open the last pack here. And I'll be also scanning those cards. Dust Animus, some artwork here. Just animus. Cool artwork. Let's see if it's worth something. 53 cents. Cool. We can keep it. And nothing else in the last pack. All right. So we hit really big here. $157 for um, not all of these cards. For. Hmm. No, I kind of put them all together. Where is it? Where is the. Here? Like this? Why is it on the bottom? I guess like this. Oh no, these are worth below. All right. So for these cards, $157, which means all of these other cards that I got are for free. I can keep them. So that's pretty awesome. I will be counting rares and mythics now. And then I will be putting, after the video, I'll be putting them up on card market. And you guys can follow me selling these cards on card market. Um, I have a Google sheet in my description. There you can see how much I put the cards up for and how much I actually sold them for once they sell. And then how much money I made back or lost. Usually lost. Uh, but this time it seems like I might be able to make them back. Unless the prices really crash really fast. But yeah. Let's count how many rares and mythics we got here. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 40. 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 60, 61, 2, 62, car, uh, 62 rares. I think this is more than Call of Mana, right? 62 card divided by how many packs are in one box? 36? Is that 36 packs? What does it say? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Yep, 36 play boosters. So we got almost, we got 1.93 rares per pack. So a little under two rares per pack, which is more than. Uh, the previous set, which had, I think, 1.5, something like that. Well, a little bit weird, but 1.4, I think, even. I calculated a few times. But yeah, so we got more rares and mythics, and it shows. It shows in the value, $157. Awesome. Let me quickly move these. Nah, I'll keep them. All right. Uh, nah, no, I have to move them. Uh, add to collection. I need to make a new collection. Play, create, bam. So if we start collecting, so $167 uh, 
if we count cards below a dollar as well. So yeah, pretty nice. All right, so that was the play booster box. We got a lot of mythics. I actually want to count how many mythics we got. Let me quickly, now we scramble them up here. All the least valuable cards on top. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, damn, thirteen, fourteen mythics. This is not usual. Just gonna say, but I'm happy. This is was an awesome, uh, awesome opening. All right, thank you very much for watching. I will be here uh, also showing this pre-list deck that I had, some cards, scan. I'm gonna also sell all the valuable cards from here. Oh yeah, I'm still gonna open the two packs that I won in my pre-release event. So, but yeah, if you only came for the Play Booster box, thank you for watching. We did it, 135 bucks. So let's go through the deck that I built. I had the green-blue deck. And I only made the green blue deck because I had Oko. I pulled Oko. These cards are all German. So, just so you know, I'm gonna go quickly grab all the rares and fix. I got also this one, which is also pretty strong. There's another rare here. You can let me know if the deck that I made is good or not. I thought it's pretty good, but. Uh, didn't really win me any more games than all the other decks that I built. I had now, I participated in three pre-release events now. Every time I won once and lost twice. And it's the same this time. I will be going to another pre-release tomorrow. And I hear if you go to two pre-release events, you get a pin. So I'm gonna show off that pin in tomorrow's video. Well, for you guys, I will be going today once the video is uploaded. Right here, and some tokens here. Anything else here? But yeah, I pulled two mythics from. Oh, we got another mythic in the promo, in the promo pack. Another rare here. All right. So that was my pre-release pack. I think I built a nice deck. I really had a lot of creatures on board, but for some reason in my last game, on my last opponent, I really couldn't play any creatures. I only draw lands. That's just how it goes. Let's see how much these cards are worth. Maybe I have to unsleeve them. Because it's getting a reflection. $4.26 for Dreischritte for Raus. Three steps uh, ahead, I guess. I got $4 for this one. Awesome. Got another $4 for this one. Five bucks. Man, I'm making all my money back from the uh, event. I, I paid 35 euros for participation. 11 dollars for Oko. We got the foil Riku. This one's worth nothing. We got a similar shoot shield, simulating protective shield. But this is the promo version, so. Wait. Oh, you can only have the promo version. Okay. In foil, 3 bucks. Not bad. We got. Uh, unlicensed hearse, which I thought was really bad, but it's worth a dollar. I didn't put this one in my deck, the hearse. This one is worth nothing. And the Riku, worth nothing. And ionized, nine cents. We got Eriet, the witch from uh, Wilds of Eldraine. I guess she still does her sleeping fog. Magic thing, five cents, and the mighty what is it? Support. <laughs> Don't know how to translate it. Ten cents for this one. All right. So we got a few really nice packs. Twenty-eight dollars uh, for all of these ones. And then I got this promo for participation. I already tried to scan it. I don't think the scan is gonna pick it up. I'm not sure how much it's worth. The normal version was worth. I think three bucks, right? So I guess three more bucks from here. Let's just ignore it for now. And let's open the two boosters that I 
or one as a price. For some reason they give two boosters now. The first two, uh, the first, during Ixalan, I only got one booster for winning one game. For Murders at Call of Manor and Outlaws of Thunder Junction, I got two boosters for winning one game. So maybe they increased the prices they give. So that's pretty cool. Nothing special in those boosters. What do we get here? Oh, and Doodle Land, not that. Oh, damn, that's a good price for, <laughs> for losing two times. Sword of Wealth and Power. Some people say the most powerful sword yet. The new sword, the best one ever. Uh, sword of Wealth and Power. Damn, this is a good pull. $18, so yeah. To anybody who, you know, defeated me in the pre-release, suck on that. <laughs> Just kidding. I had a lot of fun. Everybody was really cool. Um, I like the people in my LGS. All right. So that was an awesome price, I have to say, for my pre-release event. And that's it for the video. It's gonna, it was already quite long. Oh, holy crap. 40 minutes. That's a long video. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to participate in the giveaway, leave a comment, leave a like. I would really appreciate a like if you enjoyed this. Um, subscribe to my channel to not miss any future videos. And uh, yeah, claim the coins by leaving a comment. And you only have time until the next uh, video is uploaded to claim the coins. So if you watch this video after I already uploaded another video and you comment, unfortunately, you're a little bit too late for the coins. But you still can get more coins from any most recent video. So uh, yeah, check what's the most recent video. And once I open all of that stuff that I have here, once I open all of this, we're gonna do the giveaway. And the biggest giveaway I have done yet is gonna happen. So that's gonna be really cool, but yeah. I'll be trying to open um, something every day, try to upload a video every day. So yeah, definitely subscribe and leave a like. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. See you tomorrow and peace out.